Hey there, food explorers. Are you ready for a culinary adventure like no other? Today, we're sinking our teeth into a dish that takes the best of both worlds and combines them into a mouth-watering masterpiece, chicken and waffles. Have you ever wondered how the scrumptious duo came to be? Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a tasty journey through time to uncover the cluckin' amazing story of chicken and waffles. But before we take off, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell icon for more delicious food explorations. The history of chicken and waffles is as rich and diverse as the flavors that make up this iconic dish. While its origin story is somewhat hazy, we can trace the roots of chicken and waffles back to a few different places. Grab your fork and knife, food explorers, and let's dig right in. Yeah! Waffles! And I thought the Waffle Fairy was just a bedtime story. Sticky stacks of golden syrupy deliciousness! Our first stop takes us across the Atlantic to Europe. Believe it or not, the idea of pairing a crispy fried protein with a fluffy sweet base goes way back to the Middle Ages. Back then, waffles were enjoyed with a variety of toppings, from cheese to fruit compote. It wasn't unusual for people to experiment with unusual flavor combinations, but chicken wasn't on the menu just yet. Waffles were especially popular in the Low Countries, present-day Belgium and the Netherlands. There, they were often sold by street vendors and enjoyed as a sweet treat during festive occasions. In the 13th century, the first known waffle recipe was penned by a French chef, making the waffle a sought-after delicacy throughout Europe. Fast forward to the 1600s, when European colonists began to arrive in America, they brought their love for waffles with them. It wasn't long before waffle irons and waffle parties were all the rage in the New World. It's said that Thomas Jefferson himself was a fan, having brought back a waffle iron from France. He even hosted waffle parties at the president's house, making it a popular social event. In the early days of America, waffles were often enjoyed with fried catfish or other types of fried fish. This trend of pairing waffles with a savory, fried element would later pave the way for the introduction of fried chicken into the mix. Now let's head down south, where the African-American community began to put their own spin on this European classic. Southern cooks took the humble waffle to new heights by pairing it with their mouth-watering, spicy fried chicken. This delectable combo quickly became a staple in the African-American community, and it was here that the dish we know and love today truly began to take shape. The unique blend of spices and seasonings used in southern fried chicken brought a new level of complexity to the dish. Marinated in buttermilk and coated with a seasoned flour mixture, southern fried chicken is known for its crispy, golden exterior and tender, juicy interior. This perfect marriage of flavors and textures made chicken and waffles a must-try dish in the South. Chicken and waffles finally soared to fame in the early 20th century, thanks to the Harlem Renaissance. In the 1920s and 1930s, Harlem was a bustling cultural epicenter for African-American artists, musicians, and thinkers. Jazz clubs and speakeasies were popping up left and right, attracting patrons from all walks of life. One such hotspot, Wells Supper Club, started serving chicken and waffles as a late-night snack for jazz musicians who craved something delicious after their gigs. This perfect marriage of sweet and savory became an instant hit, and soon enough, chicken and waffles were the talk of the town. Over time, chicken and waffles began to make its way out of Harlem and into the mainstream. In 1976, the iconic Los Angeles restaurant Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles was founded, further solidifying the dish's place in culinary history. As the popularity of chicken and waffles spread like wildfire, it became a beloved staple in diners, brunch spots, and even high-end restaurants across the United States. Today, there are countless variations of chicken and waffles to be found. From Nashville hot chicken piled high on a fluffy Belgian waffle to a Korean-inspired version featuring crispy gochujang glazed chicken and green onion waffles, there's a chicken and waffle combo for everyone. And let's not forget the countless toppings and sauces that you can drizzle over your plate, like spicy maple syrup or tangy honey mustard. The possibilities are truly endless. The legacy of chicken and waffles extends far beyond its delicious flavors. This dish has become a symbol of the fusion of different cultures and culinary traditions. 
It represents the creativity and resilience of African American communities, as well as the innovation that can arise when diverse influences come together. The story of chicken and waffles is a testament to the power of food to bring people together, spark conversation, and create lasting memories. As chicken and waffles gained popularity across the United States, different regions put their own unique spin on the dish. In the South, you might find a heartier version featuring country gravy or sausage gravy poured over the chicken and waffles, adding an extra layer of comfort food goodness. Meanwhile, in the Midwest, you might come across a version with fried chicken tenders nestled between two mini waffles, creating a portable and convenient chicken and waffle sandwich. It's fascinating to see how each region adapts the dish to suit local tastes and ingredients. Over the years, many renowned chefs and celebrities have embraced chicken and waffles, giving the dish an extra boost of star power. Celebrity chef Bobby Flay, for example, has featured chicken and waffles on his popular Food Network show, Brunch at Bobby's, showcasing his own take on the dish with a spicy black pepper maple syrup. Even the queen of Southern cuisine, Paula Deen, has shared her love for the dish, offering her own chicken and waffles recipe with a pecan-spiked waffle batter. The endorsement of these culinary icons has undoubtedly contributed to the dish's continued popularity and widespread appeal. Chicken and waffles have also made their mark on popular culture, appearing in movies, TV shows, and even music lyrics. The dish has been referenced in popular films like Jackie Brown and Little Man, and it's even mentioned in songs by famous artists such as Snoop Dogg and Kendrick Lamar. The prominence of chicken and waffles in pop culture has solidified its status as a beloved and iconic dish that transcends culinary boundaries and resonates with a wide audience. So if all this talk about chicken and waffles has you craving a plate of your own, why not try making it at home? With a few simple ingredients and a little bit of patience, you can create a restaurant-quality chicken and waffles feast right in your own kitchen. Experiment with different batters for the waffles, like adding cornmeal for a bit of texture or incorporating spices like cinnamon or nutmeg for a hint of warmth. For the fried chicken, don't be afraid to get creative with your seasonings and create a unique blend of flavors that suits your taste buds. And of course, finish it all off with your favorite syrup, sauce, or topping for the ultimate chicken and waffles experience. Thanks for joining us on this mouth-watering trip through the history of chicken and waffles. If you're feeling inspired to whip up a batch of this iconic dish, drop a comment below and let us know your favorite recipe or variation. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more scrumptious food explorations from your friends at Food Explorer. Until next time, happy eating!